Hello, best friend! Oh. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fabulous day. Girl, if this is the first time you're watching my channel, finally the algorithm found uh, allowed us to find each other, bitch. We are going to be new messy best friends. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend who's going to spill all types of tea, honey, give you life advice, because sometimes I go into my Oprah, Dr. Phil era. Sometimes I think I'm, you know, but you know what, bitch? Your messy best friend spills tea and gives you advice and does story times and cringes with you, goes live when, sometimes when I'm tipsy, which I was going to be tonight, I'm going to be tipsy and I'm probably going to go live. So girl, listen, we have a lot of fun on this channel. Grab a snack, grab a drink, make sure you hit that subscribe button because we have to talk. Now listen, listen, a bunch of you sent me this while. Thank you so so much but there's like a video that is going around that it it's alleging that justin met uh selena in um, Coachella last weekend. Now we have to talk about this because girl, listen, it is giving very much that never happened. But I have to say, we are going to talk about this. We're going to analyze this because first of all, um, it is being said, right? That there's no proof of this, but there's just a video of Justin wandering around. So that's why I'm like, mm, I, you know, it's just not making sense. And this is also what I do on my channel is that there's so, there's always so many rumors. I also like to debunk things if, if it's, de you know, if it's not true because, you know, a headline, a, you know, this, you believe it, you run with it. And then, you know, so count on your messy best friend to do the digging for you. I've done the digging, girl. Selena Gomez was not a Coachella bitch. She is literally in, she was just finishing Only Murders in the Building and then she had to jet off to Paris to film another video. Now listen though, the story that they invented is so juicy that we have to talk about it just because it's so juicy. Listen, allegedly, um, Justin was with Haley and then they received a text, he received a text message that allegedly was from Selena or from someone who found out that Selena was there. So then he goes over there allegedly to find her and he was like, Haley girl, I'm gonna get a lemonade. Do you want one? Okay, girl. And then he went to over there, right? And then Selena was there and you know, she was like, calm down, calm down. And then they were like, hey, you know, so Justin was like, hey, so, you know, what's the vibe? How are you? Like, you know, are you good? Like what's going on? And she's like, Hi, Justin, how are you? I am blessed, booked, and busy. Thanks. Girl, what is he doing here? You know, security. And then he was like, girl, can we talk? So allegedly, they were talking about old times, and then Haley was allegedly calling and calling and calling and calling. And then, allegedly, he said to, to Selena, girl, listen, girl, you know, there's so much things going around. There's so many things with Hey, with Hey, Hey. I feel like he calls Haley, Hey, Hey. I don't know why. There's so many things going on with Hey, Hey. Do you think you can tell your fans, like, calm down, calm down? You know, and she was like, well, why don't you tell your girlfriend to get a life, get a life and leave my name out of her fucking mouth? How about that? Okay. How about that? 
And then allegedly he grabbed her phone, followed, no, I'm just kidding. I'm, no, I'm just, so, you know, they, they've made this whole story up. And when I was reading this story, I was like, oh, I, girl, you thought this was like the days of our Coachella lives, bitch. You know, like sand through the hourglass. These are the Coachella days of our lives, bitch. And I was just like, yes, bitch, give me more, give me more, give me the fucking more. You know, it was so fucking juicy. I was believing in myself. And then I'm like, girl, this is not real. This is not real. Why are you? I was so excited. I was like, oh, I, you know, when you get a really juicy gossip and you're like, oh, like when your friend, you know, when, when you and your friend uh, leave the club and then she goes and hooks up with someone or her ex or whatever, and then you're just dying to get the tea. I was like, that was like, oh my God. You know, here's the thing in a weird world that could easily have happened. It, but it truly could. Now, I'm not sure exactly what type of relationship Justin and Selena have. Um, but I can only imagine one thing. I can only imagine that Selena has put in the work. I've mentioned this before. She has put in the work mentally, physically, spiritually, and like everything, bitch. Past life, present life, future life. Girl, she has gone into the fucking Marvel uh, universe, metaverse, all the fucking verses, okay, bitch? To heal because the, the girl has gone through a lot. She's only 30 years old. And I personally think, and this is just my opinion, I think that having any type of connection, friendship, or communication with Justin in my, I don't know Selena, but I just don't think that is very smart. I think that's actually taking steps back, in my opinion. Now, listen, I will tell you this. I think that in, a, in, in I do think the rumor that he did call her, like that I do believe. I, I think that's very believable, but that he snuck away. I mean, the thing is that that even said that there was some onlookers, that, witnesses that saw him together. I don't think that's the case, you guys, because Justin and Selena are, are way smarter than that. It would have caused, can you imagine, Come here, bitch. Can you imagine the headlines the next day? Hailey Bieber with Kendall, watching Bad Bunny, drinking 818, right? Pretending to know the words to the songs. While Selena and Justin are at another stage talking, girl, that would have caused so, girl, I would have made a thousand videos of that. It would have caused so much drama. I do think that maybe he has communicated to her and asked her to help them and for his for his sake. But I truly hope and pray that this I mean I'm 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 just saying it's it's not true, but there's really people that firmly believe it and there's even someone that said that they saw them together, which listen, I just I I'm not trying to be shady to anybody, but I just don't I don't I don't believe it, right? Um Obviously, it's definitely, it can happen, but I just think that after all the work Selena has put in herself, her mind, her soul, I just think it would be the dumbest thing. I, I think that Justin and Selena are that type of couple that in in paper, or like in a perfect world, you know, because of their history, because they were both child stars, because they both went through so much together, it would have been beautiful for them to end up together. It, I will, I will tell you, it would have been beautiful if it would, if you would have taken out all the toxicity and every all the drama away. Had they just like honestly grew up together and experienced this, you know, fame at at such a young age and be cute and sweet together and all these things and be married now with little cell cells and little Justin Justins all over the place. It would have been really cute and really sweet, but that's not the reality. There was a lot of toxicness. Selena and Justin both have gone through a lot mentally. So I will acknowledge both of their mental health because mental health is not a joke, bitch, right? But I do think that it is great that they're not, a, that they're apart. Now, will they stay apart? Who knows, bitch? Because when you're meant to be with someone, you're meant to be with them and you will find each other. But maybe right now is not the time. You know what I mean? And that's something that you guys also have to look into your life. You might love the idea of being with someone right now, but maybe right now, mentally, physically, or spiritually, you're not connecting. Maybe down the line when you do the work, then, you know, maybe you can do it. But not now, bitch. You stay away from the toxic people, guys. Listen, I'll tell you something real quick. The day that I left this guy that I thought I was going to marry, right? Oh, my God. The day I left him, it was a horrible day. I left him around 2 p.m. in the afternoon. I, my mom and my dad came, helped me move my stuff because we moved to, we moved in together at a very young, he was I literally, at a very young age, I moved in with him. I was 18, like, boom, you know, moved in. I left him, packed my stuff, 
2 p.m. got to my new my new place. It was my dad's friend's place that he was out of town, so I took over the, the lease. So it was pretty fast. I got there. And I remember my mom and dad helped me pack, left my stuff, and I was alone. And I'll never forget how I felt. I was completely alone. By 7 p.m. I was drunk as fuck with, a, with some friends that I called over, but that's besides the point. The reason I'm telling you this is because I realized that even though I thought I was gonna get married to this guy, we talked about children, names of children, where we're gonna live, all of these things. We had so many things planned. When I finally got out of the reach of that person, I started to heal. And year after, after all the healing, crying, anger, everything that I worked out, I met him at a club. Allowed myself to, to, to get into his webs again allowed myself to hook up with him just for him to be that nasty person he was in the morning again. And that took me back and I had to do a lot of healing again. So you do not want to go back to a toxic person. You just don't. And I'm sure you've been there. You've been there. You've been there. You, we've all been there. And I just feel like after everything, Selena Gomez has gone through? No, bitch. Don't go back there. So if you see Justin in a club, if you see Justin at Coachella, if you see Justin at the fucking Eiffel Tower, bitch, you turn around, you calm down, calm down, and you look at look at her now, okay? You have to always listen to that song, honey. Selena Gomez has to look at her now, listen to that fucking song, because she needs to always remember who she is. She does not need to let Justin Bieber get a hold of her anymore, okay? <sighs> Girl, we this 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 video was all over the place, bitch. We went through therapy. We went to debunked. I went back to my 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 therapy days. My I let I told you about leaving your toxicness, not going back with your toxic. Who, girl? This was a roller coaster of a video, but you know what, bitch? Sometimes we need our messy best friends to let us know what time it is because we do make mistakes, but we cannot make keep on making the same mistakes. He dicho caso cerrado. Anyways, bitch, I love you all so much. I'm gonna get drunk tonight, by the way. So if I go live and you are watching, bitch, don't scream record, don't, don't, don't talk about it. I'm gonna keep, girl, listen. I take a couple shots of tequila, bitch, and I'm just twerking. I just, it's just the ass has a mind of its own, bitch. Anyways, I gotta go, bitch. I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.